Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining me. In this video, I'm going to do a wet test and a review on a sunscreen from Rovectin. So I hope you all enjoy today's content. If you do, please give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel so I can create more contents like this. So previously, I have reviewed a sunscreen also from Rovectin and this sunscreen is a bit oily for my skin so I don't like this sunscreen but the sunscreen I have today, it is called Skin Essentials Double Tone Up UV Protection SPF 50 and PA++++ So SPF measures UVB protection and PA measures UVA protection so it means the sunscreen will protect me from both UVA and UVB um, so I'm super excited about that and it also is matte sunscreen. It does say on the bottle that it is matte, but from the description on the website, it does say that this sunscreen is matte. And I bought this sunscreen also from YesStyle.com. Let's go ahead and open this sunscreen here. And this is how the bottle looks like. And the sunscreen has centella in here which helps to calm down redness and it also has niacinamide which is awesome because I love niacinamide in my skincare products um, because niacinamide helps to control oil production, it also has anti-aging property and it also helps to brighten up your skin so I love that and this is how the sunscreen looks like um, it looks like it has a little bit of a tint, but it is not a tinted sunscreen. It's supposed to help to even out your skin tone. Okay, the sunscreen feels very lightweight. The sunscreen absorbed into my skin really really fast. I'm going to apply a little bit more to see if it's going to peel. So this is how my skin looks like. And the ingredient in the sunscreen is zinc oxide. And also from the description of the sunscreen, um, you can apply the sunscreen underneath a foundation and the sunscreen will perform really well. I'm excited about that because I always put sunscreen underneath my foundation. But for the purpose of testing out the sunscreen, I am not going to wear any foundation on top of the sunscreen today. Now I would think the sunscreen is a little bit more matte than what it is right now because I feel like right now it's a bit more oily. But we'll see. I'm going to wear the sunscreen for the rest of the day just to see how it is going to perform. So this is how my skin looks like in a lot of daylight. I absolutely like the finish. It's not too oily or not too matte. Just a perfect dewy finish here. And also the white cast is not prominent at all. I really like it so far. So it has been 10 hours and this is how my skin looks like. I really like how my skin looks like right now. Um, it is not too matte and it's not too oily. My skin actually feels pretty moisturized and there isn't any dry spots and my eyes are not irritated and I don't have any bumpy areas on my skin. Um, so I love this sunscreen so so much. Um, I love the texture of this sunscreen. It is very lightweight and it doesn't feel like I am wearing any sunscreen or any foundation on my um, face um, because some tinted sunscreen does feel like I'm wearing foundation. So I like to compare the sunscreen to my other two favorite sunscreen I have been using for the past three to four months. And the first one is my Color Science sunscreen. This is it's also matte sunscreen and this sunscreen feels very velvety and it is tinted. Let's see. So when I put this sunscreen on my face, it is a lot thicker of a consistency. And definitely a lot more coverage. But it does feel like I'm wearing foundation with the sunscreen in a good way. I love wearing this sunscreen very, very much. Uh, but in comparison to this sunscreen, um, the Color Sun sunscreen feels like I'm wearing foundation. So it's definitely not a lightweight 
feel to it. And in comparison to my Australian Gold Sunscreen here, this one is SPF 50. It is matte and it's a lot more thicker um, than the Color Cyan. And definitely a lot more thicker than the um, Rovectin Sunscreen here. And it also has a lot more coverage than the Rovectin sunscreen. Uh, but it does feel like I'm wearing foundation when I put the sunscreen on. And it's a good thing because I do like a foundation look on my skin. And it just means that I can't wear any foundation of my choice on top of my sunscreen. So therefore with this sunscreen here, I feel like I can wear this underneath my foundation. Because it doesn't have any color. Although it looks kind of pinkish here, but when I apply on my skin, it just kind of helped to even out my skin tone but it doesn't feel like I have foundation on at all it's a very lightweight feeling to my skin and obviously definitely no pills it definitely helps to even out my skin tone so therefore I feel like it will be a very good base uh, when I put my foundation on so I'm definitely going to use this sunscreen as a face primer uh, when I use foundation and we'll test this product out in the next few weeks and uh, we'll give an update in a future video um, just because I am currently using my Shiseido sunscreen here for when every time I apply foundation but with this Shiseido sunscreen it is very very thick And if I put on my chin here, my Shiseido sunscreen is a lot thicker than the Rovectin sunscreen here. And also the white cast is very, very prominent compared to my Rovectin sunscreen. Um, also, when I put foundation on top of my Shiseido sunscreen, my foundation color tend to uh, lean towards a lighter side um, just because the sunscreen here is very, very white. I have used this sunscreen for so many years, uh, especially when I wear foundation, just because it is a very good base for foundations. Uh, but since I have learned a lot about skincare and how to take care of my skin, I have decided to stop using this sunscreen um, because it has a very strong fragrance in it. Uh, and I have also learned that fragrance is not good for your skin and because it can make your skin become very sensitive. Um, so therefore, I am always on a hunt for a good sunscreen to be a base for foundation. And I feel like the Rovectin sunscreen here could be it. Overall, I love this sunscreen so much. Even though when it doesn't have that water resistant property that I normally like in my sunscreens, but it does have the SPF 50, PA++++, and it definitely does even out skin tones because I love my skin tone today. And also since it is a matte sunscreen, my face was not extremely oily today, so I'm super happy about that. And also uh, my face wasn't too drying at all. I just really like how my skin looks like today. It's definitely a perfect dewy. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next one. Bye. Yeah, it's true I'm falling